We're speaking with Dr. Garabedian, a cardiologist here at Providence Medical Center who specializes in arrhythmias. So doctor, our first question is, how do you know if you are at risk for arrhythmias, um, which is commonly known as an abnormal heart rhythm? Um, so risk for arrhythmias usually um, are related to if you've had a prior heart attack um, and there's scar in the heart muscle um, that puts a patient at risk for arrhythmia. Um, the second most common cause is probably if the um, function of the heart is reduced um, that put and enlarges the heart, that puts you at risk for ventricular arrhythmias. Um, those are kind of the two most common. Um, and then th uh, other risk factors are advanced age, uh, hypertension, uh, puts you at risk for things like atrial fibrillation, which is a different kind of arrhythmia. Um, let's see, other um, modifiable risk factors for arrhythmias are uh, if you, a lot of stress, anxiety, um, caffeinated beverages, and so forth can put you at risk for atrial arrhythmias. Is there anything a person can do to prevent arrhythmias or help decrease the risk? Um, so probably the most important thing is just to lead, you know, an overall healthy, uh, a general uh, healthy cardiovascular lifestyle uh, in terms of good exercise, um, a healthy diet, um, and then control of your other kind of medical uh, modifiable risk factors, blood pressure, cholesterol, all will reduce risk of heart attack, uh, which will then prevent that potential risk of an arrhythmia from preventing the risk of heart attack. Now, how does a heart attack relate to arrhythmias? Yeah, so the way to understand it is if you've had a, a heart attack, um, it create, it basically results in dead muscle potentially. Um, and that dead muscle is a scar, and that scar then is a nidus for arrhythmias, um, where kind of there's a short circuit that develops within that scar and the patient develops an arrhythmia. And the last question, what symptoms should a person be aware of and when should they seek care? Um, so, you know, unfortunately the symptoms of arrhythmia, it's a very wide spectrum. It can range from as minimal as just infrequent palpitations uh, versus um, something more sustained and irregular. Um, so patients should be aware when uh, there's associated symptoms such as dizziness, lightheadedness, chest pain, and shortness of breath they should seek urgent care sooner than later um, to evaluate the arrhythmia.